what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I want to preface this video by saying this. From time to time, I get these messages. People will say, man, I'm tired of hearing about Donald Trump. Let's talk about something else. No. I got a job to do. And part of that job is making sure I smash the gas on Donald Trump ass every chance I get. Because he did the same thing to Barack Obama. And it had nothing to do with Barack Obama's record. Hell, he was on Barack before Barack ever got in office. When it looked like Barack may have a chance at winning, that Donald Trump was. You know why? Because Donald Trump is one of those white men who can't stand the thought of a black man being the leader, the person who gives the orders, and that he has to follow. He couldn't stand it. He lucky I wasn't the president, because I would have used my executive powers to get at his ass. Real talk. Now, moving on. Donald Trump, your president, isn't the best at keeping officials in his administration around for very long. This is well known. Though it feels like he's been in the Oval Office for centuries, it's only been a little more than a year. And in that time, more than 30 of his staff members have either resigned or been fired from their posts. Notable departures include Sean Spicer, former White House press secretary, James Comey, former FBI director, and Steve Bannon, former White House chief strategist, AKA his very own white supremacist. That's just a jog your memory since these departures seem to happen so often that they all blend together. Trump's most recent staff switch up came when he announced on March 13th that he had fired Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. Many were quick to call out his alarmingly high turnover rate, and some even resurrected an old tweet from Donald Trump in which he slammed Barack Obama for the amount of staff change-ups he made during his time in office. Way back in January 2012, just one day after Barack Obama announced his second chief of staff, Bill Daley, would be stepping down, Trump tweeted this. Three chief of staffs in less than three years of being president. Part of the reason why Barack Obama can't manage to pass his agenda. Little did he know just six years later, he would wind up in the White House already on his second chief of staff before even reaching his two-year mark with his third COS, John Kelly, possibly on his way out soon. For almost all of Trump's controversial statements and decisions, there's always a tweet there from his past, ready to totally contradict it. Just painting the picture for you. The dude is on his fifth communications director. A third of his administration that he started with is no longer there. But even with this staff change up thing, it don't come close to the comment that he made about Barack Obama golfing. Remember when he said, if I had a country to run, I'd spend more time in the White House and less time on the golf course? This is the same dude who has spent three times more on the golf course in just a year, a little over a year, than Barack did in four years, his first four years in office. In fact, I think it was like his whole time in office. This dude is a joke. He's a straight up joke. The fat man is an asshole. Every time he opens his mouth, shit comes out. But it's not gonna stop them from getting all up in his face. And smelling him. Wanna kiss on him. Hug him take pictures with them, like groupies, got celebrities, all up in his face. Like him out of all people, like I know a lot of people 
Some, I don't even think you would even consider celebrities, but, you know, they may be public figures. But I know a lot of people who, are, who have some type of public, uh, uh, public uh, figure uh, status that I would love to take a picture with. He ain't nowhere on the list. Like, like he ain't, I mean, like, he ain't on the list at all. Like, I don't give a damn about Donald Trump. I don't give a damn that he's the president. I don't care nothing about his money, nothing about his influence. He can invite me to anything. I ain't going. I can guarantee you that. I'm not going. 45 is the most embarrassing president in the history of presidents. And I'm not just talking about America. I'm talking about all of the presidents in the universe. He is the worst, total worst. When I think about this frog, this orange frog, toad, I think about a passage in the Bible that says, and this too shall pass. I believe that. This too shall pass, but not soon enough. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?